Hello and welcome to chapter 21 of the video tutorial how to set up an online shop with Dreamweaver and PHP. By this chapter 21, so let me you want. We will use some CSS and some Photoshop to create a well designed presentation for our products. So, we see, uh, you remember in the CSS we have defined this as a div, as a layer, having a specific size so that when it reached the margin it created a new line. What we're going to do is decorating this presentation, uh, presentation a little since now the colors are quite horrible as you can see. Repeat, but well, the important thing is that we will be able to modify it in a very simple way. To do it, we print screen so that we get a copy of everything we have in screen right now. Then we go to Photoshop, we create a new file, and we simply paste the contents, right? Here we have it, 100% size, okay? Let's zoom it in a little more and we will cut this piece we are interested in. It would be this part here, or less. Right, and now we will make a rounded edge. Some of you have sent me even some code for nicer edge and so on. Well, the idea was making some rounded edge, but anyway, the, the one you sent me is pretty nice and you can do it as you please. This video is just a suggestion. Now we create a new layer. We go to to, well, this isn't a Photoshop tutorial either, so I advise you to have a look around the net. We pick up the rounded rectangle tool, it's got a radio of 20 pixels. Let's see how would it look like. For example, I do it like this. I have the rectangle. Keep control pressed. I click here. I create a new layer. I erase this one. And what will I do is just filling this with white color, right? I fill it in and it will give a small edge here with merge options the stroke I will choose a light gray color or less here <coughs> and I will give it the size of one pixel okay and I take everything out to check how it looks like okay that's how we will round the edges of this product it's not done very accurately but on the run for you to see more or less how it's done I save this image, save as JPG, for example, and I will save it in a folder of my shoes web. Shoes, images, <coughs> and I will call it background product, for example. I save it, quality 10, right? And now I go to Dreamweaver, where we have our application. The image will be here in our images folder and it's called background project product here it is we will open the page that displays the products it was watch category so we go to watch category just to refresh our mind about what was the name <coughs> here we are this was a div called product and we have defined that in the css so we open the css we look for main CSS here, we look for the product, which I think must be at the end of the code, correct? And we will give the product a background uh, as such. So, we double click here, I go to background and tell it the background I want is um, the one I just made, background product. Accept, accept, it makes me the code automatically. I save and do you see how nice this table looks like now? Now it's smarter. You can improve this with shadows, with details, etc. But the basic idea was improving this presentation. Next thing we will do, for example, is arranging a little this part here because, as you can see, it's not properly displayed. To do so, we go to Watch Category, which is where we were before. And you see here in Div Product, I select here the Div. It takes me. Sorry. Here, in Product. Inside this div, I have both the product picture and the text I'm also displaying. So, we will do a couple of things. We will add a new layer to host the image, and next to it, another layer to host this data here. It will be very easy. Create a new layer that will be called div class picture product, right? Uh, I will close this where the image ends and I will add another div for the text in the right side 
so we type div class equals um, text product for example and this div ends right where the price ends which is here okay by now nothing will happen here only a couple of boxes will appear because we haven't even defined a class text product nor picture product we will do it now I copy picture product I create a new class here with open and close square brackets and in picture product I will tell it that the square floats to the left now you will see why I save and the other one is still missing text product so um, I copy this paste it here and here it is text product I save I save and let's see what it has done well by now it isn't doing what we were looking for the idea was that it got lined to the right so let's give it some length parameters so that it's displayed correctly okay so product is displaying the image in 120 per 120 pixels now we're going to define picture products with a specific size it would be um, a square we type 120 and 120 and in the image we will put the remaining space we have the width 220 plus a margin and a padding if we won't count it's 220 minus 120 theoretically that would give us 100 pixels for the product picture so in width we modify to 100 and we will delete height we save let's see have I saved this uh, yeah right you see how it looks like well we've done something that makes this lower part to be wrong because I suppose we have to modify the height of of the product you see uh, you gave it the width but not the height we can calculate that height right now we can see here in information it says 167 so let's give 167 pixels height to the product height 167 that minus the 10 pixels upper and lower paddings equals um, 167 minus 20 147 theoretically if I didn't make a mistake let's see fine there we've got it perfect well changing the font type of this etc well I understand you can handle that on your own so it doesn't make sense dealing with this at least you have doubt I know some of you are introducing the signs and making it cute so that's perfect uh, fine next thing would be that when I click in this product uh, I should get the date of the product such in the end I want to have a look at this Wellington though it's in the picture of the regular shoes when I click here it will show us the product in a bigger image size for example this is very easy let's make a new page we copy index as usually and I will name it um, watch product dot PHP I enter it here we will have the name of the product and here the product information but how do we know what product we want to see now easy we're going to send it a variable a parameter as we have done so many times before so I click in the name and I tell it when I click here I want you to take me to watch product PHP and I will pass a parameter which would be the identificator of that product I will call it record ID which is the way Dreamweaver calls these files and let's pass it hold on one second and we will pass here the ID product I put it automatically here I save and let's have a look at it I update and you see when I put the cursor over the Wellingtons down there I get the record ID if you have a look you see number one number nine seven eight etc when I click there it will take me to the page of the product PHP per R equals one that by now is blank but we will complete it now in in what product I create a new query I select record set name it data product I'm going very fast because we've done it many times and I want to and I want to extract select me every product here 
where the ID product is what I pass you, right? Where the ID product equals a new variable, a makeup now that will be var product. I copy it and here in variables, paste the name with an integer type, which is the product identifier. Set value equals zero in case I enter this page with no value at all, and the execution time would be get of record ID. Okay, what is this get? It was I passed via parameter, I'm passing it through the URL, through the upper address. Get is taking me the value of the variable you're passing me via parameter, which is called record ID, right? Um, I close. It's called record ID because I call it that way, but you can call it as you want. That's the way it's called here, okay? Well, so here's the query done. As you see, it includes us the, all the code, indeed a selection of the table product when the ID product is the one I pass via parameter, which is this one, which is record ID. Okay, so far we've got it. First thing I will do will be extracting the product's name and put it here. I drag and drop. That's why it is much faster. And the next thing will be, for example, displaying the product picture. Okay, let's extract the product picture. I have explained before how to do it. You remember this thing here, we entered an image as such. Let's do the try and you will see it's done in a moment. I will create a table here for you to see that we can do it with tables instead of with layers. It's the same. Two lines, two columns, it's right for me. This content stuff goes out. And here we will place the image. So we click on insert image. I go to the folder where I store all the pictures which is in documents, products. I add just a few, this one for example. But here, you know that instead of this one, it will be the one I get from the database. So, the, so that I will delete this and will put the str image instead, which is where I store the image name and such. This here will appear automatically with this lightning, because it still doesn't know what it is. And the height and width we will put the null, 450 per 450. Remember, I was using square images, so each one adapts this to his own taste. Fine, next thing would be, in the right part of the product, we would put the price and description in case we had some, etc. By now I will put the name and the price as well. Fine. We put it here now. I will select this field, this, this part of the table, this cell, and I will tell it to make a superior vertical alignment, okay? I save, update, and you can see we get the product. Let's do one more, high heel shoe. So we go to high heel shoe, well, here it would be just adding the description, it would be just entering the fields. So if you have any problem, you can ask me in the video comments. And well, with, with all this, we have made a little progress. We have introduced the product. Here, basically, this page is to put here the purchase button, which is the next thing we will do in the next chapter or the other. We will see the purchasing process, which is, I imagine, the topic many of you are already looking for, and most of you already knew all this, but I try to do this for everybody. Okay, many of you asked me about the pagination topic, you're very worried about the pagination stuff and how we can do pagination, etc. I remember, I think we remember in the administration part, there was a section in which we dealt with the pagination topic, but as I'm not completely sure, we will be here so that it paginates us the products we will add. To do it, first thing we will go to the database and we will add more products so that we have at least 12 or 13. In any case, more than nine, because my idea is making lines of three. Shoes, table product, here I have the table, and I, I hit a, a value here, you see? That was the ID, you see? Because the ID is generated automatically, and I hit it so that it doesn't show around. And well, here I can create shoe two. Uh, we will do the positioning later, price 20, status one, category one, and I will copy the same image so that it doesn't get too tedious. I will copy it several times here. Control V. Okay, we already have more or less 12. I think it's fine by now. We will fill this column with ones and all of them will be active. The category with ones as well. And the price, we will type numbers at random. And I will copy the name as well. 
we can fill this in from the administration but as you can see it's much faster here especially to make some some tests fine we have some products so I close here and let's see what we get boots and you see we have a good bunch of well the image is the same because I also copy the image content now we will try to get just nine products and then a patinator as such there are several ways of doing it let's see if we can do it in the simplest way of all uh, from insert in data objects record set pagination we get navigation bar for record set we click here and it asks us what record set do we want to make a pagination we've only got products data which is the product list of the category we can choose text or images I will do it with text first we accept and it has filled me all this code here and look the pagination appears here automatically I save I go to the page and by now I have 3 plus 3 6 plus 3 9 plus 1 10 and down here the pagination I will do it so that it's just 9 so to change this in pagination uh, let's see if it appears here or else in the code let's try and do it looking here on the left in the font code if you have a look in line 36 my line 36 here it says the maximum rows per page 10 as a default but I will choose 9 I save now and you see Dreamweaver's magic displays me the pagination next previous last first etc right and well I think this with this you have raw material to progress I hope it clears some doubts and see you in chapter 22 where we will continue going in depth with this regards